Adelphi students, beware. With school back in session, scammers are trying to take advantage of you. This semester, several scams, including email frauds, have been attempted. So scam emails are often um, people trying to pick the low-hanging fruit. Um, everyone gets emails. Nobody reads them carefully enough. Criminals know this. Um, and this is how they try to get in good favors with a potential victim. From that, they've built a relationship and they'll try to capitalize on that, whether that is for theft of money, whether that is for identity theft. Email scams are so widespread, they're everywhere. University campuses are just a little bit more open than many corporations are. Nobody is going to pay you $500 for a half hour of your time. Nobody thinks that they're ever a target. Like, oh no, why would they look at me? Everyone has a bank account. People who work here, you know, they get direct deposit. Anytime that you're connected to the internet in any way, shape or form, there is always someone who's trying to take advantage of you. Awareness is key. The scams at Adelphi don't just occur online. They follow you to your classrooms. Just last year, a man who claimed to be selling tickets to a comedy club scammed multiple students out of their $20. He basically was like pacing in the hallway before class. Before class. Professor Cassie had said, like, remind me to end a little bit early today because we have someone coming in. His body language is off. Yeah. I personally would not have bought any tickets from this man. Um, but he walked in, he had a whole speech ready for us. I don't remember the exact speech, but he was saying how Adelphi gets all of these amazing, um, like perks, and, perks, and mm -hmm. this is your perk. You get to only pay $20 to come see this comedian in the city. Like what an amazing thing. You could bring a friend for free. Wow. That's pretty interesting. But we've never heard of this besides this man telling right. us. We've yeah. only heard it from him. Like Adelphi has never spoken out to us. He was so adamant about credit card only or Venmo. And like, we saw many people who were like, oh, we only have the cash. And he was like, oh no, can do. I actually spoke to my friend about this today. And she told me at the end of her class, she walked up to the man and she just used the tap on her phone. She never got the ticket. She lost her $20. She never got it back. And she never reported it because at that point it was too late to even say anything. Even though it's in a context that feels legit, or that is. I mean, normally our classrooms, our, our campus is a place where students are supposed to feel like they can trust that what's happening here is in their best interests. And so it makes sense that in that context, everyone's guard would be down. Scams aren't just a problem at Adelphi. The Better Business Bureau warns that students at all colleges face various scam attempts. Experts emphasize the need for student vigilance. Ask him who he works for. Ask him if he can sell some form of ID. Ask him if he has permission to be on campus. Asking a couple of small questions is usually good enough. And if you don't trust it, call public safety. If you've received any suspicious emails or notice any suspicious people, don't hesitate to call public safety.